um, just taking their literal words. It means that you know, tomboys and effeminate males, they're, they're transgender in a very literal sense. Um, and so the, they would say that they have a gender identity or a brain sex that doesn't match their biological sex. So they try to split it off in these two right. different, uh, two different categories. Um, and the whole premise of what we, what they call gender affirming care is that we can, since sex is uh, sex, they think is, is mutable because it's just various body parts and those all can all be changed with hormones and surgeries and right. in a statistical sense that what we can do then is we can literally change your, the sex of various different parts of your body to then align your physical sex with your brain sex. And that is what affirms yeah. your gender. That's what we're trying to do. But if you try to go the other direction, if you say, well, what if we try to make these people feel more comfortable in the bodies that they have? Exactly. Well, yeah. that would to them, that would be conversion therapy because you're trying to, <laughs> you're trying to change their minds to match right. their bodies, but no, we can just right. start cutting them up and make them, you know, change their, body. you know, it's, and, and most of the people who are, are what we call sex non-conforming, uh, mm -hmm. you know, masculine uh, females and feminine males tend to be same sex attracted. These are tend to be overwhelmingly uh, gay and lesbian when they when they're adults. And so it's it's literally a new type of, I would say, like a gay conversion therapy where we're we're taking males who would normally say they're attracted to other males and saying, oh, no, actually, you're a woman. So you're you're actually really straight now. Uh, um, right, it, right. It's it's ghastly. And this is one of the biggest things that had made me totally abandon at least the left on this this idea and speak right. out against this because it's it really is just a way more intense type of conversion therapy and i don't know how they can't seem to but, wrap but their heads even around if this. you're not gay so let's suppose <laughs> yeah, even if that you're, you're the, the, yeah so let's suppose that you're this you're, you're, you're i mean i think we used to have like boys used to be fond of tomboys we found them like endearing and like oh the girl's gonna come play with us and they mature faster so sometimes they were actually stronger than all the boys and it was kind mm -hmm. of funny um i just can't imagine and there's just something rather <coughs> quite sinister about telling that person and, and having this ideology that tells this person well actually what has happened is your body essentially made a mistake yeah, right. exactly. your your body is a mistake, but luckily, because we have these, you know, benevolent experts, they can transform your body for you. Is that I mean, is that that just seems sinister to me? Yeah, I mean, it, it is totally sinister because, again, they, they would say that a tomboy has a mismatch between their their right. gender and their sex. So when you tell a child, oh, you have this this inherent mismatch in your body, your body is mismatched. That's they're going to say you know, something's wrong with you, but it, we can we can fix you right, <laughs> with right, with exactly. hormones and surgeries and all that stuff. Yes. Whereas before <laughs> expensive, yeah, I, yeah. I'm imagining. Yeah. yeah. Whereas whereas before, and I thought that like society was moving in this direction. It was sort of this, you know, there are males and females. We all have variation in the degrees of masculine and feminine that we are. Yes, there's some trends that are easy to see, but. We should accept mm -hmm. people as individuals. If you're a girl who likes rough and tumble play and likes to play with right. trucks and uh, is attracted to other women, then, you know, you're an individual and you, you should be able to do that. And that's fine. Right. And no one should, you know, attack you, uh, respond with violence or anything like that. And if you're a male who's very feminine, you know, you you should be protected to be who you are um, as an individual. <laughs> and We've just totally abandoned that completely. Yeah, so completely that was, went away. There's nothing the wrong of, with that little girl. That's what they need to be told. Right. Is you are just, yeah, you're you're different in a statistical sense, but there's nothing wrong right. with you. This is, I mean, the premise of Darwinian evolution is that there's variation. Variation. And we couldn't have had <laughs> we couldn't have had selection on male and female sort of uh, behavioral phenotypes if there wasn't already variation at some points, and we're selecting for you know certain extremes. But there's always going to be some overlap. Right.